guys, Miss Saiyan Ellie here, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Asperia. In the last episode, we got a bunch of side quests done, and we upgraded the Sorcerer's Ring. Dun dun dun! <laughs> but anyway, we are here in Helior. We're gonna start out by going down to the lower portion of this area. I actually forgot to do something here, because back when we met Sicily in the last episode, we should have left the area and just come right back inside here. But I didn't do that, so now we have to catch up. So let's come around this way and... Oh, Buonasera! How have you been? Oh, it's Mr. Sicily! Again! We just saw you, like, last episode. I swear, that kook is definitely following us. Professor, Professor Sicily, I missed you, Jarnk! Here we go with the Jarnk again. Oh, it's Sterilo! How have you been, Sterilo? I've been very well, Jarnk! Looks like you've, you've been well as well. Looks like you've been well too, Professor Sicily. Junk. Sterilo, that's not his name. So what? Carolo doesn't seem to mind anyway. Thief! Catch him! Get repeat. And off he goes to go catch the thief. Dogs are so useful, aren't they? And caught. That was amazing. Thank you, my canine friend. Woof woof! What an amazing dog! Yeah, you can counter repeat. He's more reliable than most humans I know. Cough, cough, Raven. Cough, cough. So he can really fight after all. He has a weapon, too. That's right. Repeats faster than just about anything. Woof! Hmm, this gives me some mo motivation? Really? Motivation! Huh? Now you've taken an interest in repeat? See, I think so. I think I could make something very nice. But could he really use it to its full potential? Seems like you have something on your mind. Be quiet, Jark! Professor Sicily is thinking! Hmm, it looks like this dog should be able to use it. See? What's that? Something about repeat? Wait, just wait un momento. I will make you something very good. I hope it's not some lousy letdown like Carol Alex again. Are you making fun of me? How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Poor Cowerlo. Finito! Well, you sure are fast at this stuff. No kidding. He was just off screen for like two seconds. Alright. It looks like it's a weapon for repeat. Now this is something we can use. Alright, so we obtained Murakumo. You're the greatest, Professor Sicily. It's amazing. Dark! Yeah, I've got to say, thanks a lot. You don't need to thank me. Your, dar your, your dog just sparked my interest a little bit, you know? Ah, I see. G good for you, Repeat. Is someone getting a little lonely because no one's paying it? No one's interested in him lately? Ha ha ha, what do you mean? Enough with the jokes, Judith, darling. Well then, until we meet again, Missy. Arrivederci! Alright, so we have a new weapon for repeat, and that poor guy still hasn't gotten to use the bathroom. I feel so bad for him. His head must have a concussion by now. Anyway, alright, let's go ahead and check out repeat's new weapon. He's wearing Orochi right now, and go over here, Murakumo. And that is a very nice boost and very cool looking weapon as well. Sweet. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and wear that. Nice. Alright, so now we are done in Helior, and I'm happy to be done with this place, honestly, because I keep missing stuff here. Anyway, heading outside. And now we need to head over to someplace new. Baul! Thank you, Baul. You are always so useful. Now, the place that we need to head to is actually in the northwest corner of the map. We are going to some place completely new. We haven't been to this place before, and it is quite the interesting place indeed. So just pull down the map, and we should be coming up on it pretty quickly. Here it is, and here we go. Can I hop down there? No, no, no. Okay, fine. Let's go ahead and land right here. So we need to walk a little bit. There's new monsters in this area, and you know what? No, I can't. I couldn't see. Great. All right, well, I didn't really want to fight anything just yet, but hey. All right, let, not hourglass. Not hourglass. Do not want to use hourglass. Let's 
go ahead and use our magic lens on B Bigger Balloon, level 47, 15,480 HP. Alright, so let's go ahead and use this, and it's already dead. That was really disappointing. Anyway, so I actually don't want it to be nighttime because nighttime is kind of difficult to see in, so let's go ahead and use a mat really quickly. Okay, never mind. Apparently this area doesn't like daytime. I just used two and nothing happened, so... Oh well. Alright, let's see if I can sneak around these things. Nope, okay, fine. Alright, so where's the entrance of this place? Ah, here it is. Okay. Enter. Welcome to the happy place. Nam Kobanda Isle. So, this place is actually really really interesting. It's kind of strange at that. And doesn't that receptionist look a little familiar? It sure got a weird feeling to it. Good afternoon, visitors. This is your first time here, am I right? First of all, you need to buy tickets. Tickets to enter a city. Correct. There are only 10 gold per person to buy, though. That's all? You've got to be joking. Not at all. We're we're not doing this to make a profit. For all, it's all about helping others have fun. Well, what's going on here, anyway? It's not easy to summarize, but basically, it's like a big fun party. I think the best way to understand what I mean would be to just go in, go in and have a look for yourself. What should we do? Let's go ahead and buy the ticket. That ticket, ticket. They're dirt cheap, anyway. I mi I mixed up cheap with ticket. Okay. <laughs> You can go and you can go and come as you please. So just have a good time and don't worry about anything. So it's a one-time fee. Sweet. You'll need to use chips for everything while you're here. Make sure to go and exchange your golf for chips in the gymnasium. So it's like a Las Vegas area. Anyway, we have a character skit. Favorite places. It's amazing how many different types of cities there are across the world. Oh yeah, you grew up inside a castle, didn't you? That must have been tough. But I have to say, I like the capital best out of everywhere we've seen. Me too. I love the feeling of freedom in the air that the capital has. I love the cozy humidity of Dawngrest. Who needs that muggy town when you can have the breezy, gentle living of Ospio? Sounds like you all think the places that are best are the ones you're most used to. Well, everyone loves the place where they grew up. Hmm. Dawngrest is nice, but I gotta go with you, Manju. Because you could spy on women every day? <sighs> yeah. There's that little crack in the wall between the men's and women's baths, and you... No! No, never! You mean it'd be just the thing to soothe the aches and pains of old age? Exactly. You're a boy after my own heart, Yuri. Yeah, right, Raven. We all know the truth. You already practically admitted it, like, right there. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to this dude real quick. Congratulations, you have found the gymnasium! Okay, so this is where we need to go. Let's slip on in here. And... Here we go. Let's see what this place is all about. Wow, this place is crazy. Hey, it's Kaufman. I guess I should have known I might run into you here. Are you here on some business with Fortune's Market? Unfortunately, not quite. I just learned of this island, so I decided to come and have a look around. So have you figured out what sort of place this is yet? It's kind of... Playground, a paradise where people can come to forget the troubles of their day-to-day -day lives and just have fun. That sounds inviting. Doesn't look that way to me. See for yourself. I think you'll see what I mean. You can exchange your gold for chips here. You might as well do it sooner rather than later. Okay, sweet. Well, have a good time. I'll talk to you later. And off she goes. So then, you want to try exchanging our gold for chips? Alright, so we do indeed want to buy at least some of these chips. Let's go ahead and talk to this cow right here. Hello, hello! Pleased to meet you. Is this your first time here? Yes. In order to enjoy yourself here, you'll need chips. You won't be able to use gold. You can exchange either gold or grades for chips. Since it's your first time here, here's a little something on the house to get you started. We receive five chips. Play lots of games to exchange up, to save up, enough chips to exchange them for marvelous prizes. Just talk to the ant lion man next to me for exchanges. Okay, so let's go ahead and buy some chips. Talk to him again. Okay. 
Yeah, 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 whatever. I want to see how much grade... Wow, we actually have quite a bit of grade here. Okay. I, I don't... I really don't want to actually use my grade, though. Probably could, but I don't really want to. Let's just go ahead and use gold. Yeah, whatever. Uh, let me see. Are you serious? Is that how much it costs? 300 gold for one... Really? For one chip? What a ripoff! We're not in this for profit! Yeah, right. 300 gold for per chip. Jeez. Look, look at that. Okay, whatever. Well, I want to get about 50 chips. I'm tempted to use my grade, but I kind of don't want to. Okay. Confirm. Ugh. Alright, let's go ahead and see what's over here. No, 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 don't buy anything. Okay, so... We have... Basically just... Normal shop items here. Okay. Wait, there were other... No, no, no. There were other pages. I didn't see the other pages. Let's see what's on the other pages. There is also a Holy Avenger. That's not bad. Okay. Quite a bit of stuff here. Okay. Not bad. But I don't really care. What we want to check out, though, is... Looky here. Wait, let's see if we can peek through here. No, uh, I can't. Dang it. It would be cool if you could actually go back there and, like, poke Yuri's head through. But let's go ahead and check this item. It looks like the Wonder Chef. Guess what? It is the Wonder Chef. Guess you found me. You're pretty good. I'll teach you to cook as a reward. Da -da 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 -da! We got... Oh, great. Vichy soy. I know, I know. I'm butchering it again. Don't tell me. Okay, it's so it's Vichy soy to me. That's the Masse way of saying it. I'll give you this so you can practice. Obtain three sets of the original ingredients. Got to go till we meet again. Okay, so we found him once again in the most weird of places. Now what's over here? I, I want to know what's over here. Mount of prizes are piled up here. That giant stuffed doll looks familiar. Hmm. Does it? Really? Okay. Anyway, is there anything else here I can check? No, I didn't want to talk to you. No, I don't want to exchange prizes. Thank you. Thank you, but no thank you. Okay, so this place is actually pretty interesting. We have quite a few games here. And here we go. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy really quick. Welcome to the Captivating Game Corner. Please indulge yourself in our wonderful diversions. Wow, everything here is something I've never seen before. There aren't blasty, aren't they? Correct. No blasty at all. We made everything here by hand. How about that? Pretty nice, huh? You mean the little tykes made all this by hand? Of course. We worked our butts off. Hey! Wow, that's great, but what is this? Okay, so it's a sort of game. Play it, we don't even know how. No worries, no worries, you'll pick it up quickly. Allow me to pick one of you to give it a test run. Hmm. Alright, let's go with Miss Bouncy Bouncy Christian. Me, I don't think I'd be very good at this. Don't worry about it, that just means it'll be, it'll be more fun for you. Alright, right this way then. Okay, just stand there for a sec. And now, cha-ching! Tales of Jurassi! All right, so this is kind of a little mini game of the Tales of Asperia thingy, thingy. Anyway, as you can see, there's Baul up there, and let's go ahead and give this a test run. Pretty much just an 8-bit game of Baul. We have to dodge the birds. If you can recognize those birds, those are from the, um... Those are from the Blades of Zofair. Or right outside of the Blades of Zofair, anyway. But anyway, it's really, really simplistic. All you have to do is dodge the, um, little fireballs that they're spitting out at you. And go like this. Woo! Nope, go up, go up, go up. Sweet. Let's see how much of a score I can get just playing this game. And... Wow, I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. Wow! So much for that. Okay, so I suck. <laughs> that was bold, wasn't it? What you were imagining in your mind showed up on that very screen. I feel like that adds a bit of a game-like quality to it, don't you? I don't get it at all. You mean if someone else is doing the thinking, something else will show up on screen? 
Sorry, that's all for now. That was the last game machine that wasn't in use. Oh, what a buzzkill. Hey, no big deal, right? We can come back here some other time to play and play, right? Yes, come whenever you'd like. You'll have your own very own game machine, just like Miss Bouncy Bouncy and her friends. Oh, but the next time you play, don't forget that you'll, you'll need chips, too. Alright, so that game. Actually, we have a character skip before this goes away from mine to game. What sort of technology is this? I can't understand how it takes the image of Baul from our heads and turns it into a game. Well, well. So there are things not even our genius mage understands. You know, this whole town is full of stuff we don't understand. So what? If it's fun, it's fun. Maybe that works for happy-go-lucky Raven, but I need to understand what's around me. I think there's some truth in what Raven's saying. Even if you can't unravel certain mysteries, it doesn't change the fact that what's fun is fun. You see? You see? Judith, darling, unlike someone here, you sure know what's important. You and me, we're on the same wavelength. I wonder what would come up on the screen if it showed what the old man was thinking. I don't even want to imagine it. In fact, I'm sure we couldn't imagine it if we tried. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, I think this game would be bumped up in the kind of rating if we had Raven playing that game. That would be kind of, yeah. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> anyway, for this game, this costs 10 chips per play. Um, if you play through it like 30 times, you can actually get a title from this, which we will be doing but you don't actually have to play the game to actually get the title, actually. You have to talk to him. Only 10 chips. Yeah, let's go ahead and play. Good luck. Just see the screen and exit out. That counts as one play. So we have to do this 29 more times. Fun, huh? So anyway, I'm going to do that really quick and I will be back in just a moment. Okay, so we finally have this. Hey, it looks like someone's playing our games. Looks like someone's having someone's having fun, eh? Eh? I tell you, once I start doing this kind of thing, you can't pull me away from it. Me too, me too. This is super fun. Yeesh, you all are so immature. Look who's talking. It's Miss... No, no, you're going the wrong way, Baxi Gamer. Baxi Gamer. <laughs> uh, that's right, Flatty. You look like you're quite into it. I was just... I was just looking to see how poorly they were doing, is all. Right, right. Of course, of course. But you know, Papa Pony... Papa Ponytail? Really? I actually like that nickname for him. Huh? You mean me? You're pretty talented, Papa Ponytail. We have got some pretty slick skills. Well, I am pretty good at this kind of thing. You look... You like games, do you? Sure, I like them a fair bit. Well, I prefer chasing ladies to smashing buttons, though. Me too, Papa, me too. What? Nice, very nice. I see you got your priorities straight. Uh, they're bonding. Papa, I like you. I'm gonna let you play for free from now on. No chips needed. Hey, hey, that's mighty kind of you. I can tell we're on the same wavelength, just like Judith. It already feels like I've known you for years. I agree. I think I'll give you a, nick a nickname now, since we're already such chums. How about Ponytail to Gamer? Sounds good, eh? Hey, how about that? That's a pretty wild and crazy name. It suits me. Ugh. These two are beyond help. Raven earned the Hardcore Gamer title! And he got the ultimate blue cape. You know what? He earned it. Let's put that cape on him. Actually, he's using a blue dice. I don't know if I should actually replace that. Uh, actually, that's not really a great accessory, so eh, I'll skip. At least we know he actually has it. But anyway, let's go ahead and view character details and put on the Hardcore Gamer title! How, how appropriate that he has this in an LP! <laughs> anyway, now that we're done with that, I think we're going to go ahead and cut this episode here. So, in the next episode, we're going to take a little bit more of a look around this area and see what else there is to do. So I will see you guys then. Messina out.